Welcome to my channel. My name is Sydney. Um, little things to know about me. I run a Snapchat, fitness and Instagram account. Um, I've had this YouTube channel for a long time. I post a lot of my rants and the story time, mini story times on my Snapchat right after it happens. So if you guys want to add me, totally feel free to. I don't bite. You guys can totally talk to me. Yeah, let's just get started with the Jim Creep Chronicles. <laughs> This specific situation I was in definitely reminded me of a horror movie just because of all the things that happened that I never in my life thought would happen to me. So some background info on the security guard. So this security guard had just started um, his job here. He had a brother. He had just moved from California. Both of them um, just started living here. They didn't have very many friends. Um, they worked nights at the gym and he worked specifically three times a week at this point. Pretty big guy, doesn't really work out, but he patrols at night, so yeah, he's not a scary looking guy, but he's a bigger guy, he has facial hair. So to start this off, he was one of those guys that he's a very friendly looking person, you can talk to him, he's nice, and I'm a very chatty person in the gym, like everyone knows I love to talk, and when I talk, I get in my zone, get out of my zone, talk for a second, and then go back into my zone, but I don't keep the conversation going the entire gym session. This guy, he was the security guard, he'd come down around 8.30, check up on everyone, make sure they're good, and then he'd go back upstairs. So when he started noticing me, um, he started saying hi to me, he never talked to really anyone else, which was why it was odd that he would sit and watch me in the downstairs lifting area, rather than going back upstairs when he started to notice me. That was for about two weeks that he would just sit and like look. In my head I was thinking that he had nothing better to do so he was just doing that to occupy his time. This was him figuring out how he could talk to me. So about two weeks after he had just been sitting down there and looking at me, he starts coming up and talking to me, asking me how I am, and I didn't want to be rude because this is a security guard, so you know, he has good intentions. Like I thought that his intentions were just to be sweet and nice and um, just, you know, ask me how my day is like a normal person. A month goes by and he's still there only three times a week. Then he starts coming on the weekends during the day because he had asked me when I work out um, normally. And one of the other guys that I work out with, he's like, oh, we're hitting a session at noon on Sunday. The guy that I was working out with or planning to, he ended up canceling on me because he had a family issue. The security guard shows up and he just comes and talks to me while I'm foam rolling because I was like, you know, he's just trying to be nice. Maybe he's working. I thought he was working on the Sunday, but apparently he wasn't. He just came to see me. He like made a comment when I was foam rolling and I was, I just blew it off because I was like, you know what? Like, this is interesting, like his comment was something about like the way that I was rolling on the foam roller or something, but it wasn't like 100% innocent and I just like blew it off because I was like, you know what, like I'm not dealing with that, like if I don't feed into it, it'll be fine. And then he waited for me to finish my workout. After I finished my workout, he came and walked me to my car and this is during the day. He was like, oh, I can't let you walk out alone. So then he like walked me to my car and then he stood there and talked to me at my car for such a long time. And then I poured my protein powder in with my water and I was doing the shaker cup and he makes the comment and he says wow look at you shaking your milkshakes and at first it really didn't hit me what he was talking about I was like it's a protein shake not a milkshake like are you stupid after I had left because I was getting kind of uncomfortable um I made an excuse and I was like oh I have to go like I have an a, I have a meeting I have to get to and I have to get ready for it I you know replayed it in my head and I was like that means that he was talking about my boobs not even the protein shake but he was like doing it pretty slyly the next night I come back and it's Monday night he's working he this week started working five times a week rather than three and he works with his brother so he was starting to take his brother's shifts and that was kind of odd to me because I saw his brother in in the gym working out rather than working and when I was walking past the lobby the front desk person wasn't there and he was like oh let me walk you to my car and so I was like okay like that's fine um it's dark I'm a woman like I completely understand that they offer for this because they are the security guards are meant to be there to help protect you to keep you safe and it's a totally like noble thing for someone to do so he like walked into my car he puts his hand on the door and he says don't leave me um without sugar or wetness or something he said something really weird and i messaged my friend after i left no i was like no i don't do that and then i got in my car and left and i messaged my friend and she's like oh that means that he wanted you to like blow him or kiss him or something that like involves sexual activity the next day i was like oh he worked yesterday so he's not gonna be working today so i go in 
and then he's there again and he walks me out to my car he does something a little similar and then he you know makes some comments I leave and this happens the entire week then we get to the next week he works five days a week and then on that Friday he comes to my car again and then he puts his arm on it and he he like touches my arm and it was really weird because I was trying really hard I was really uncomfortable all the other days I was uncomfortable but I was like nothing weird has happened since the first comment maybe it'll go away so this is the third time and he puts his arm on the door doesn't let me get in and he says I really want to hug like I want something from you I want to date you can I take you out and in this whole situation this was during the summer so I had free time but I did not want to hang out with him so I was like no I'm sorry I have things to do I don't want to go out with you um, I was like I really don't feel this like can you not lay off and he stood in front of my car and the way I had parked I was in a parking spot but I could back out of it instead of pulling forward so I backed out of it and he was like waving his hands at me and all this crazy stuff and then I leave so then the fourth thing that happens though is I'm walking to my car the next day he's not there this is on a Saturday and this is at night and he calls me I didn't know it was him because the number was not blocked but it was a number that I just didn't recognize so I answered it and I was like hello is anyone there and all I heard was breathing and then he hung up called me about an hour to two hours later when I was just at home and he was like I missed you today like he said all these things but he was quiet in the beginning for 30 seconds like just silence and I was like hello is anyone there and then he finally started talking and I realized recognized his voice right away and I was like my heart just stopped I was like how did he get my phone number this is not supposed to be happening like how did he get it and I realized he's the security guard he probably has access to all of those computers and that's what I'm guessing he you know figured out how to get into or something to get my information because they can check people in and out so that's most likely how he did get my phone number and he did that three other times and it was the scariest thing in the whole entire world because he had gotten my information without me ever giving it to him so then I told the front desk because this freaked me out they said they deal with it and they dealt with it the best they could because I said please just tell me when he's working and um, I'll just not go at those times I don't want him to lose his job since he did just move here started coming when his brother was working just to find me it freaked me out even more because he was waiting for me by my car and so then I told the, the front desk people and they just completely um, fired him he's gone he actually had to move back to California and it was one of the scariest things in my life because he'd be leaving me messages not messages like voicemails he wouldn't ever leave me a voicemail but he'd call if I didn't pick up he'd call again and then I blocked that number and he called me off of his security guard phone before he had gotten fired and it scared me so badly because every time I'd walk out to the car I always thought that he'd be there waiting because he did that a couple times and I always was scared that when he'd walk me out that he would try to take advantage of me but luckily he never like you know did anything more than hold me down except there was one time when I told him that I didn't want to be walked out and he grabbed my arm and walked me straight out to my car and that was insanely scary because I just thought it was like a horror movie that he was gonna take me to a dumpster and just kill me but I was honestly super scared this entire time I didn't really tell anyone besides I mentioned it on my snapchat because there was one time where I thought it was a joke and all of these things happened though and it scared me just because of the fact that he did not know his boundaries I told him no plenty of times and if I would have just handled it a little bit differently in the beginning he probably would have lost his job but he still has my phone number and that scares me because he has my phone number even though he's not here anymore if he ever comes back he just completely scared me with the fact that he would wait for me he knew when I would work out he'd come on the weekend um, around noon and watch me work out and then he'd try to talk to me um, there were times when I was dealing with it with the front desk and telling them you know what was happening there were times that I would just sprint out to my car so I'd miss him and I actually had some of my lifting buddies that were guys in the gym um, walk me to my car so that he wouldn't because he would say really disgustingly weird things like the whole don't leave me dry and like things like that that I just didn't want to hear because he was a lot older than I am and he he definitely knew that I wasn't interested yet he kept trying to pursue it and that's what scared me because he didn't know his boundaries I really honestly handled the situation as best as I could and if I would have let it go on any longer I feel like it would have gotten a lot worse and just gone downhill really quickly but because of like the timing of everything I handled it 
the best that I could and I think that I prevented a lot of other things from happening but um, he ended up losing the job and this was his only job which is why he had to move back to California and he couldn't because he couldn't afford to live here without a job so it worked out because he had to leave like he couldn't stay that is my security guard stalker story um I know it's not that exciting but it was definitely one of those things where if you were in this situation like I was my heart was constantly pounding when I'd get the phone calls you live and you learn these Jim Creep Chronicle stories are going to keep coming at you there are some that are a lot worse than this one they're not as stalkerish but they're definitely ones where you're just like did they really say that to you Sydney and I'm like yeah they really said that to me they really did that or so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to follow me on my social media I post these snapchat stories right after they happen a lot of the time so if you guys want to see or hear about these things they're always posted to my story if things happen that I like want to share about so if you guys are curious for rants fitness, exercise videos, anything like that, any creepy guy stories, they're always on my Snapchat. If you guys want to follow me, I'll have it all here and at the end of the video or in the description box. I love you guys so much and I hope that you guys enjoy this video and I'll talk to you guys next time.